Well, in your election coverage tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris released her economic policy plan while campaigning in North Carolina today. Former President Trump is calling it, quote, damaging. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has more from Los Angeles. With the Democratic National Convention just days away, Vice President Kamala Harris unveiling her first major policy rollout to voters in Raleigh, North Carolina, detailing her economic plan focusing on the middle class. Together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. An opportunity economy. Harris listing her goals of cutting taxes for the middle class. She's also proposing a ban on corporate price gouging on food and groceries, up to $25,000 in down payment support for first time home buyers, a tax credit of up to $6,000 for families with a newborn, and capping the cost of insulin at $35 and out of pocket expenses for prescription drugs at $2,000. Trump on the offense, attacking Harris earlier this week in Bedminster. She destroys everything she touches. And if she wins, your finances and your country will never recover. You're never going to recover. Harris attacking Trump's proposals for tariffs on all imports. It will mean higher prices on just about every one of your daily needs. A Trump tax on gas. A Trump tax on food. A Trump tax on clothing. A Trump tax on over-the-counter medication. At this moment, when everyday prices are too high, he will make them even higher. The Trump campaign responding to Harris's proposed policies, calling them extremely damaging and a massive expansion of government control. The Democratic National Convention kicking off on Monday with President Biden set to take the stage opening night. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles. And a presidential debate between Harris and Trump will take place on ABC next month. Both candidates will take the stage at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia. ABC News anchors David Muir and Lindsay Davis will moderate. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. Tuesday, September 10th, right here on Local 5.